Welcome back to the channel and thank you for watching and first of all thank you all for your lovely warm wishes for our holiday which we thoroughly enjoyed. So I am a barrister who really enjoys helping you to understand law. So in this video I wanted to talk about a petition that I came across early this morning which is about leaving dogs in a car and the petition is calling for it to be an outright criminal offence to leave a dog in a hot car with the warm weather that we've got that I'm not going to complain about because too many people complain about warm weather but as such in England and Wales it is not illegal by itself to leave a dog in a car if it's hot however the owner could be prosecuted under the Animal Welfare Act of 2006. And while I'm speaking about the law for England and Wales, of course, because I'm a barrister that practices here, there will be equivalent laws in other jurisdictions, so you can look for those as well. And because the law takes time often to catch up with what people in society think of as reasonable and sensible, the law as it stands is quite clear that cruelty to animals is obviously an offence. But there are indeed certain things that should be automatically an offence, one of which this petition is calling for, which is that leaving an animal in a hot car, usually a dog because it's usually dogs that people take in the car with them, should be an offence in and of itself when the weather and the temperature is beyond a certain level. So first of all, I'm going to link the petition in the description below. I did post it on my community thread earlier and it's got over 20,000 signatures since then. So if any of you, my viewers, are responsible for those signatures, thank you very much indeed. But I'm also going to talk very briefly about what you might do if you walk past a car and you see a dog in the car struggling because of the heat, usually because it's panting, vomiting, motionless, and so on. You might be tempted to smash that car window. Now, in the simple sense, it would be criminal damage to smash the window of a car that belongs to someone else. Criminal damage, of course, certainly in England and Wales, but surely in other jurisdictions will be a similar kind of offence to willfully or recklessly damage the property belonging to another. Quite clearly, you cannot criminally damage property that belongs to yourself, unless there are very technical legal implications, such as somebody else has a lien over your property, but I digress. So if you were to come across a vehicle with an animal inside it and you were tempted to break the window, I've done a much more in-depth video on criminal damage and what might amount to criminal damage and the steps that you should take before deciding to smash that window. One very broad defense to criminal damage is that where you reasonably believe that you would have the permission of of the owner of the property to damage that property and whilst that might ordinarily sound very rare in this very special scenario where there is an animal suffering inside the vehicle you could reasonably infer that you would have the permission of the owner to break the window in order to get the dog free but as i say i discussed that in a lot more detail in the other video linked below so please pop along and watch that one i did that some time ago in a great amount of depth for criminal damage. But in the meantime, I've linked this petition in the description below because this, in my view, really should be an outright offence. It should be specified, it should be straightforward, and there should perhaps also be some kind of option within there as a defence of criminal damage if somebody does pass a vehicle and wants to break the window to free said dog that is about to die. So I suspect this will be a subject important to lots of people, so please do check out the petition, check out my other video. Please do like this video, subscribe and share this video so that lots of other people see it because I do not want to read any more reports in the news that dogs are suffering and dying in vehicles because of the extreme heat and weather. So once again, please do subscribe and share this video. And as always, thank you for watching.